Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching Once Upon a Time, Season 1, Episode 3. This one is called Snow Falls. Um, I had to take a quick break because I had to go get my blanket because it is freezing down here. And I sat through two episodes freezing and uh, I was like, I can't, I can't do it again. So I went upstairs and got my blanket. Um, but uh, if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, would like to get early access to my reactions, and would like to watch the full reactions over my Patreon, Links are down below. Let's get into this episode. What do you think of the view, my dear? I've seen better. This is taking forever. I told you the troll road would have been quicker. Are you even listening to me? Yes, of course I am. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Now what? Well, she's not very likable. Worry not. It's but a fallen tree. This tree didn't fall, it's been cut. It's an ambush. Show your face, you coward. You're a girl. Woman. You can't hide from me! Wherever you are, I will find you! Okay, so they met by her robbing him. Um, yeah, that is a great program. I mean, obviously, I don't want 15 kids of my own. I can't mean, even pay I mean, attention to her. He's too busy staring at her ass. Kids, marriage, true love. I want it all. But that, You're not going to get it from him. He's not even paying attention to you. Wildly inappropriate for me to discuss on a first date. Hmm? Check, please. Aww. Is she living in her car? Hey. You okay? Oh, and the world of tight spots I've been in. Crashing in my car doesn't even rank in the top ten. You're sleeping here? Till they find a place. You decided to stay. For Henry. Yeah. Yes. This town doesn't seem to have many vacancies. None, actually. Is that normal? You know, if things get cramped, I do have a spare room. Thanks. I do better on my own. That's nice of her to offer. Is Mr. Doe gonna be okay, Miss Blanchard? His name's not John Doe, honey. That's just what they call people when they don't know who they are. Do you know who he is? No. Nope. Just bring him flowers on my rounds. Does he have any family or friends? No one's claimed him. So, he's all alone? You sure you don't know him? <laughs> of course I'm sure. Come on. Shouldn't be in here. And he's like, I know who he is. I found your father. Prince Charming. Henry. He's in the hospital. In a coma. The curse is keeping them apart with the coma. Now they're stuck without each other. We have to tell Miss Blanche we found her Prince Charming. Giving someone unrealistic hope is far worse. But what if I'm right? We know who they are. Now they have to know. And how do you intend to make that happen? By reminding him. We have to get her to read their story to John Doe. You want me to read to a coma patient? Henry thinks it will help him remember who he was. And who does he think he was? Prince Charming. And if I'm Snow White, he thinks. <laughs> me and him. He has a very active imagination, which is the point. Play along, do what he says, and then maybe, just maybe, he'll see the fairy tales are just that. It was here, in the shadow of the troll bridge, that their love was born. For they knew, no matter how they were separated, they would always... Is that just like a reflex or something? Sorry, I'm waking up. Hey, you grab my hand. He didn't open his eyes. Everything's steady, same as it's always been. What were you doing in here? What did it do in that moment, though? I was though? just reading him a story. Perhaps you imagined it. No, I didn't imagine no. anything. Miss Blanchard, I can only tell you what I see, which is nothing. Sometimes there are minor fluctuations in readings. Uh, perhaps you heard the machine register something and misunderstood. Well, you grabbed her hand. Go home. 
Get some rest. If anything changes, I'll call you, okay? I mean, guys, he's talking to the mayor. <laughs> yes? He told me to call you if there's ever a change in a John Doe. One of the volunteers said he grabbed her. There was a slight fluctuation in brain activity. Mm, and he was so this he volunteer. Lied. Mary Margaret Blanchard. Mm. I told you I'd find you. No matter what you do, I will always find you. Is this the only way you can catch a woman? By entrapping her? It's the only way to catch thieving scum. <laughs> Aren't you a real prince charming? I have a name you know. Don't care. Charming what is it? I want to know. Now cut me down, charming. Where are my jewels? I sold them. What? What do you care? Don't you have a palace full of treasure somewhere? These were special. Among them was a ring that belonged to my mother, a ring I was about to give. The nag with the bad attitude? That's what this is about? She's my fiance. Good luck with that. You must <laughs> be getting something impressive to have agreed to that union. Now, this is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut you down, <laughs> and you will take me to whoever has my jewels, and then you're going to get my ring back. Why would I do that? Because you don't want me to tell anyone who you really are. Snow White. There's gotta be easier ways Thanks of getting people sure. down from stuff like that. Than just mother's... chopping the rope She'll and letting them fall. He woke up. What? I knew it. I mean, he didn't wake up. Like <laughs> well, my back fired. He grabbed my hand. He's remembering. We have to go back. You have to redo him again. Let's go. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what? If I got through to him, if we made a connection, you don't believe that he's Prince Charming? Of course not. Somehow, some way, I touched him. Well, that plan didn't work. You're right. He's waking up. Henry, you should stay by. What's going on? He's missing. Is he really missing? Did someone take him? We don't know yet. His IVs were ripped out, but there's no sign for sure there was a struggle. What did you do? What? You think I had something to do with this? It is yeah. curious that the mayor is here. I'm here because I'm his emergency contact. You know him? I found him. Will he be okay? Okay. The man's been on feeding tubes for years under constant supervision. He needs to get back here right away, or quite honestly, okay might be a pipe dream. Well, then let's quit yapping and start looking. That's what we're doing? Just stay out of this, dear. And since I clearly can't keep you away from my son, I guess I'm just gonna have to keep my son away from you. He walked out. He walked out. He's okay. Four hours ago. Where does this door lead? The woods. Right, so the mayor didn't take him. He just walked out. Careful! It's a weapon. What, dust? What kind of weapon is a dust? Fairy dust. I thought that was a good thing. When it comes from a good fairy, this stuff is deadly. It's very hard to come by. I'm saving it for a special someone. Ah, uh, the queen. You got a lot of anger there, don't you, Snow? The charges on our posters are lies didn't stop her from sending her huntsman to rip out my heart. He took pity on me and let me go. I've been hiding in the forest ever since, trying to amass enough fortune to leave this place, escape to another realm, somewhere isolated, where I can never be hurt. Sounds lonely. No lonelier than an arranged marriage. At least I don't prey on the innocent. Up until now, I've only ever stolen from the queen. I thought your carriage was one of hers. No one else uses that road. You took the scenic route. Well, lucky for me. All I'm doing, Charming, is what it takes to survive. She wants me dead. So, what did you do to incur that much wrath? She blames me for ruining her life. Did you? Yes. Okay, so she did do whatever the queen is angry at her for? She okay. killed somebody or caused their death? Uh-oh. Huh. Look 
who we found. There's nowhere to hide. Queen wants your heart. And we're not going to disappoint her. Just give me a second. This is my world. I got it. Right. Sorry. Does he mean his world isn't finding people your thing, too? Sure. People I find usually run places like Vegas. Oh. Not a lot hit the woods. <sighs> what made you start? <laughs> your parents? <laughs> Henry told me that you're... that you were from a similar situation to his own. Did you ever find them? Depends who you ask. <laughs> Henry! Did you find him yet? No, not yet. You shouldn't be here. I can help. I know where he's going. And where's that? He's looking for you. I mean, obviously we know that this doesn't happen. Why did those guys have, uh, like their whole face covered, but that other guy didn't? Jules. Right, you've got a wedding to get to. 